Charles, I would love just to know last spring when your team hosted a Be The Match drive for National Bone Marrow Registry, you added your name to the list and, and why? Uh, honestly, at first I kind of thought like you were supposed to be adding it to the list, but I mean, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to help out, out for real. <laughs> and it worked yeah. out because, you yeah. know, there's no initial guarantee that you would be called, but just last month you were notified that you were a match and that your blood could potentially save a life. And so walk me through the steps of that week. What did the process look like? All right. So the thing, the uh, procedures for the 17th. Yeah. So starting the 13th, I had to get like four shots a day, four days leading up to the procedure. So th those shots basically like took the stem cells and put it into my bloodstream. So when they took the blood out, it would be easier for them to collect it. And honestly, the shots weren't too bad. It just made my muscles a little tight. I was walking around the house with a sore back. But other than that, I think that was worth it. And then uh, the 17th, got to the hospital, got four more shots. And they started setting me up to the machine. And honestly, I was just sitting, sitting in the bed for like seven hours, just waiting for it to be over with. But I mean, that's, I didn't, I mean, I wouldn't really imagine spending that seven hours in any way else. Just like, just writing your name to make a difference in someone's life or signing up to make a difference for life, someone's life. And it doesn't have to be like the bone marrow. It can be like other, other different things, but just like, just be willing to participate and you don't know what the results could be. And why is it important for a diverse group of people mm -hmm. to write their name on that list? Because for for every all the diverse groups, the numbers are not as high as it is for, are for Caucasian people. So like you gotta help people that look like you out. So just get them get the the diverse groups up there so we can save everybody. Our guys, uh, you know, they they when this comes about, they they're they're great advocates and they out in front leaders, um, galvanize. And, and excited about the opportunities for saving a life, for introducing. I think we signed up this past uh, spring when we did our drive, like over 300 people. And, and, wow. and you know, it's a big deal. Let's look at football real quick because last year, 13 games, you started, mm -hmm. you put your body on the line day in and day out for your brothers. How important is sacrificing yourself for somebody else? How important is that for you? Uh. It's, it's very important, definitely from the team aspect. Yeah. It's, it's all about the team. You're trying to do what you can for your team to win. And same with, I guess, be the match. Same with be the match. Yeah. Like, you don't really know them on a personal level, but just knowing that you can help save somebody, it's just, you just sacrifice yourself for them. Coach, you have a very intimate experience with be the match 2003, blood donor match for your four-year-old daughter at the time, Tyson, who was diagnosed with a rare blood disorder, but how did that process change you as a dad and as a coach? Yeah, I mean, actually as a dad, you know, you you hear the words of the issues that your children may have, particularly for Tyson, you know, Fanconi anemia, and the only cure being a bone marrow transplant. You're a young parent, you think you can buy one of those, you can't buy it. You know, it's one of those things that you have to go through the process of, well, how do we go about trying to to help her, you know, um, longevity in life, save her life or whatever it might be. And so you get involved in the processes of be the match. That whole process, uh, long, arduous, up and down, smiles, a lot of crying, a lot of tears. But then you ultimately find a path to where a doctor says you're the match you know, and a perfect match, too. That was that was the unbelievable part of it. But again, we are a family of faith, family in football. And when uh, that happened, you know, just the, the things that started occurring after that, just kind of put it all into place. And so here we are now. Being involved with the Be The Match Foundation, I, I got to do it with my dad. And then when I went into college, I started working with ODU's football team and Bobby Wilder and helped him implement doing a Be The Match um, drive. And we were actually able to have at least the four years that I did with them, two athletes be a match and donate during the season. So I've I've loved being able to just kind of branch out and do my own thing with Be The Match as well as being able to work my, with my father. So it's been a huge just opportunity to pour into others and just kind of help them 
re realize like how significant this is. And what I am learning just from this conversation alone is how much one life can change the trajectory of a lot of things. And so what's your encouragement, maybe just to one person watching this to sign up, to you know take the chance, say, why not? And, and give of themselves in that way. I think this is something a lot bigger than yourself. Like you have the opportunity to do more than just be who you are. Like you have the opportunity to give someone else the opportunity to actually live because they're, they're kids, especially like I was seven, just not knowing if I was actually going to see the next day. And it's like, you have the opportunity to reinstall that sense of like hope and desire into anyone. I mean, young child or an adult, just to be able to have the opportunity to live life as full, fully as they can. William and Mary football. It, it's historically a program that has given of themselves for Be The Match, but just in other ways. How special is it to be a part of a program like that? Uh, it was very special. Definitely having Coach London. He's he's a great guy, great coach. He, I, I love him. He's, he's that guy. And uh, my teammates, they're, they're all great too. I'm proud to help do my part in continuing carrying the torch and then handing it off to somebody else. If the doctor said 10,000 to one odds were the match, were the odds that a parent could be a match, well, if you don't get involved, it's 10,000 to zero, and we wouldn't be talking right now, the three of us. So getting involved and taking an active step towards action, uh, towards helping, towards assisting, towards re-educating yourself, that's what this is all about. And Charles having been identified as a match, being around the program, it was like, he was like, yep, yeah, let's do it, let's go. And uh, I, I tell you what, it, it was an awesome, it was an awesome phone call when he and his mom called me and said they'd just given their sample. And, and now he's running around here getting ready to, to go into a, you know, to a season in CAA and All-American. I mean, just all the things about who he is as an individual, those things are, 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 are truly great. And, um, and I feel, I feel honored, but also feel a sense of responsibility to not just coach, to educate and get us involved in community service aspects. I mean, I don't think thank you is even a strong enough word. You know, I would not be sitting here if it wasn't for him. Like I, the odds of me actually surviving past like 10 years old was extremely low. So the fact that I'm almost 28 years old, have my own career in athletics and just being able to sit here and build a foundation with him is thank you is just not even a big enough word.